Here is Point Lighting's new heliport controller, the PHC66002 with 7-inch color touchscreen. Touch the screensaver anywhere to show the main menu. The main control screen displays all the system operators, including six individual circuit switches. One, two, three, four, five, six. The user should preset each of the six circuit switches. Switches set to on will illuminate when the system has activated. Switches set to off will not illuminate when the system has activated. Circuit one on this controller is a happy circuit. This circuit has a four position switch and a red alarm pilot light. This switch positions control the happy dimming level levels, one to three, three being the brightest. Circuits two, three, and five are standard non-dimmable switches. Any of the switch labels can be customized any time in the field. Right now they're set as wind cone, teal-off touchdown, and perimeter. Circuit four has the variable brightness enabled. This is the FADO perimeter circuit. Pressing anywhere on the percentage area can set the intensity level between 10 and 100 percent. So I'm just going to punch in 100 percent real quick. And so when the circuit becomes activated, it will illuminate at 100 percent intensity. Circuit 6, on the other hand, has brightness control enabled for dimming of the floodlights, which can be set in the same manner as circuit 4. Do 60% on this one. Now moving on, the main switch on the bottom left hand side has three positions. As you can see, on, off, and auto. When in the on position, the system will activate. At this time, the amber pilot light will illuminate and any circuit switches left in the on position will activate. Individual circuit switches can be altered at any time. We can turn them off on the fly, on on the fly, but when it's in the off position, you're presetting the switches and not activating them immediately. When in the off position, the system will deactivate. At this time, the amber pilot light and all circuit outputs will turn off. When in the auto position, the system will activate using a remote activation device. Remote activation device may be a controller, photoelectric controller, radio controller, or a simple contact switch. Finally, in the, below the main, the main switch is the system runtime counter. This displays the total time the system has been activated.